It's safe to say that Darkseid Phil has been having a pretty lousy week, from getting owned in Street Fighter 6, to constantly having to deal with trolls terrorizing his chat, then wondering why his dents aren't supporting this fun, positive content. It's just all around a pretty rough time for the guy. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? That's what makes for the best videos. So today we're going to look at DSP's week. We're going to see him just freaking out about Street Fighter and doing all the things I already mentioned previously. And before I get into the video, I just want to say shout out to Snort Hogan. If there weren't channels like this, videos like this wouldn't be possible. And Snort is one of the best DSP archivers and makes really fun content out of DSP's wannabe fun and positive content. So go show him some love, his link will be down in the description below. But this first couple series of clips is DSP kind of coping about the fact that there's more trolls in his chat than there are actual people enjoying it. He goes on to say that these trolls and chat are ruining most like regular viewers fun experience watching the streams you know they can't have their positive entertainment if these trolls are in chat ruining it for everybody but to be honest if there's anyone to blame for the stream having like a negative aura around it it's phil himself because most of the clips you're gonna see today are just him freaking out and just losing his mind over a fucking video game so you know he does this stuff to himself he's gotten all these trolls because of his years of dumb shit and you can always be be sure to stop by his streams and you'll be able to hear him complain about it, but nonetheless, no one's got time for that. So let's just look at the past few days of the best moments of Phil streaming. If you're coming to a stream to watch me play a multiplayer game, right? And you want to see if I'm going to do well or not, and even if I don't do well, that's fine as long as there's some moral support or whatever, but all you're seeing in the chat is toxic shit. Phil sucks ass, and the, you know, this fucking person's doing this and that, and this one's a troll, that one's a troll, this is a troll. And you're like, who the hell wants to stick around for that? And so some of the feedback I received in the last 24 hours, when I asked you guys, I said this last night, I said, I've noticed in this last week, the Modern Warfare 3 beta stream and the Street Fighter stream I did last night with Lily, pretty much we had high viewership, but lots of trolling and incredibly low support. Like for a stream that has 500 viewers on a late stream, how did I make 10 bucks all night? And this has happened twice this week. And you know what? I got really good feedback. And here's the feedback I got. And I got this feedback from multiple regulars. We don't want to come to your late night multiplayer streams anymore. We've tried it. And at first it was fun. But what's happened is the trolls are targeting them now. And when we go there, we can't have fun. It's just a bunch of shitty assholes coming and crapping all over everything. And it's not a positive, fun environment to be in. Instead, you try to play the game and sometimes you fail and you get upset. And then when you go back to the chat, all you see is trolling and it pisses you off and it just makes it a toxic environment and we don't want to be there. <clears throat> It should be fairly obvious that Phil is lying here. He's trying to talk about some outrage and using the guise of the fans to say that they're the ones telling him that this is a problem. You know, he brings up that, you know, you get mad at video games and that's no problem. You know, sometimes Phil gets frustrated, but then he comes back to the chat and sees all this trolling and it's just not positive anymore. Because, you know, when Phil gets upset, it's fine and the people understand it. But when the quote-unquote trolls are in the chat giving Phil some actual criticism, Phil doesn't want to hear it because that ruins the viewer experience if Phil is to talk about actual things that he's done in the past that people want him to answer for. No, that's not that's not fun enough. Come on. like, And it's so ridiculous that he's even saying this, acting like people are coming and being bummed out by the trolls and not by his attitude, because I was going to show more of this clip, but then I decided, you know what? Let's just get right into these Street Fighter 6 clips and let's show you. You know, if you're a fan of Dark Side Phil, you show up to these streams for some, for some laughs and some joy this is what you're greeted with every single night and he wonders why no one likes showing up here anymore because if you did have any actual fans you run them off so quick with this attitude and the people that actually are his fans well those people <laughs> that's a video for another day but those people have their own problems This is fucking trash. She didn't earn the fight at all. She earned zero hits. Literally, it's bullshit. It just kept dropping my moves over and over. I destroyed her the first game. And then all of a sudden, I can't get any fucking moves out for the next two games. It just gives her non-stop moves she didn't earn, and she gets all those points for nothing. She fucking sucks. She fucking sucks. You earned absolutely, positively nothing. Bullshit. Bullshit. 
Now, now I don't know about you, but that doesn't seem very fun and positive, now does it, ladies and gentlemen? It's always funny to see streamers like Phil talk about how they don't want a toxic environment in their chat, but when you're doing this stuff on screen, and the screen is what Phil wants us to pay attention to, he'll get into that later, you know? Um, <laughs> pay attention on the screen, not at the little tip donation on the bottom, that's not important despite it being on the screen, but Phil wants you to just look at his content and go, yeah, Phil, you're right, just Despite bitching about every single fight you've been in for the past five months, you're right every single time. And he thinks he is. He thinks that every single fight he loses is something wrong with how the game is developed, it's dropping his inputs, yada yada yada. I don't know how fighting games work, but I tell you what, I have eyes and by watching some of this gameplay it's clear that Phil, Phil's not the best. The, even the people he's playing aren't the best. But you know what? He consistently gets his ass kicked and always, and I'm telling you, every single time, without fail, will blame how the game is either made, programmed, I mean, in this video alone, I'm pretty sure you'll hear him go at the developers, if not, I accidentally cut it out and I apologize, but when you watch enough Phil videos, it all seems to blend together, and that's the constant with this video today, my friends, it's just constantly seeing Phil never learn the error of his ways, obviously, he's been doing this for almost 15 years, will he start learning now, no, you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but you also can't teach an old DSP how to not bitch at video games, because he will complain about this every single match, and it will get progressively worse and worse as the video goes on. So stay tuned, because if you thought Phil was angry there, just wait till he has to step away from the stream. I don't know what's going on right now. Can't move. Can't, I can't get out of the corner. I can't get out of the fucking corner. Jesus Christ! Level 1 random super! Oh my god! This person is terrible, but they get away with it because it's all online bullshit. Like, literally every hit here is nonsense. What the fuck? Just mash punch! Level 3. Literally just mash punch against Blanca Ball. Hope it hits. Hits! Unbelievable! No skill! Just, I'm just gonna mash medium punch, I hope it hits. Look at the damage. This is a tremendous, tremendous luck and tremendous mashing and scrubby dick, man. Unreal! Unreal! Rewarded again! <laughs> rewarded again! Rewarded, rewarded, rewarded for spamming unsafe moves and getting lucky, and that's her rank because of it. That is nonsensical. Nonsensical stuff. You know, one thing that DSP will do a lot in this video, but he also does a lot just in general, is he'll sit there and he'll rant about things like, this game is fucking bullshit, you know? These people in chat are fucking idiots right now. But then just laugh it off at the end. Ah, 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 ah. Like, that's why people do the ack, ack, ack thing. Because he's trying to give off this aura of, oh, I'm just playing around. I'm just kidding. It's all a big joke. But no, trust me, in that moment, <laughs> in that moment right after the game ends, he is pissed. But he has to try to, like, cool him himself off and go, oh no, haha, ha. you know, these people, it's, it's just all so ridiculous, but if it was just as ridiculous as you're trying to make it sound at the end there, then why are you getting this worked up over it to begin with? At the end of the day, it's just a fucking video game. Whoa, nice lag spike at the end of the fight, it's interesting. What? The lag spike fucked my level three. Cause you can see it's still doing it. This is unbelievable. The lag spike fucked my level three and gave it mistiming. Unfucking believable. Now I'm done. That's game. I can't do anything. Wow, you really earned your win with your shitty internet connection that went from 50 milliseconds to over a hundred. And then I can't do my level three combo and you get a free lock me in the corner. Wow, you're a great player, huh? What a piece of shit. And then quit after your one win because your internet is fucking cheating. You fucking piece of shit. Unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> it's unbelievable. 
You fucking piece of shit. Like, again, he tries to play it off like it's no big deal after the fact, but you can see in, you can see it in his eyes, you can hear it in his voice, just how livid he is that that just happened in the video game. He knows that he is not good enough to beat that person, but he has to make up any excuse in the book. Or maybe Phil actually believes he is that good and that all these people, every single person he plays, is cheating him. I'm actually starting to lean more towards the second because with that much passion he has in telling these people how much he hates them, well, it, it says something about him, you know? And I think, again, what it says is he needs to stop taking these games so serious, you know? If you're gonna freak out like that over playing Street Fighter, then I don't know, play like Mario Odyssey or something. It's <laughs> something a lot easier, Phil, because obviously you don't understand it, but this type of attitude runs people off who actually do like you. And the people who actually do, even though how few and far between they are, somebody probably watched that, I guarantee you, and shut off their stream and went, man, this guy sucks. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, my move doesn't come out, and then I can't do anything as a follow-up. Now I'm fucked. Jesus Christ, man. All because one move didn't come out, I'm stuck in the corner. Fucking bullshit. Oh, I can't do shit. Yes, just keep doing your bullshit. Just do it. There's no point. I'm not going to fight my way out. It's ridiculous. The one move didn't come out, and I lose. Fuck you. My philosophy on content creation that has worked for 15 years, all right? is that if you're making positive and fun content for your viewers, and if your viewers are enjoying the content, they will reciprocate by supporting said content. Now, that will not necessarily happen every single time. There will be some extenuating circumstances. It's like people have said, there's gonna be a slow time every once in a while, that's fine. I get that, I totally understand that. But in general, from someone who is operating a stream and a business, all right, my goal is to put out entertaining enough content for you guys during the course of any given day. All right, that I can make you entertained and you entertained enough that you'll want to support that content because you liked it so much you want to see it continue. All right. Now, did you hear what Phil said right there? He's talking about, of course, how people can donate to him and why they should donate to him, you know, because of all the fun and positive content he does. We've been saying those words a lot over the course of this video, but then again, Phil says it a lot in every stream, so I think that's fair. But in his mind, I think, in his mind, he thinks that by putting on a smiley face and laughing about all the times that he freaks out and everything, that's fun and positive. As long as he thinks that it's fun and positive, then people should be giving him money. And he thinks it's fun and positive all the time. So he doesn't understand why people aren't reciprocating that. But, ladies and gentlemen, I already showed you some of Phil's rages playing Street Fighter, but what if I told you this one from just a few hours ago? <laughs> this one takes the cake, and it's crazy that he'll do stuff like this on stream, and then wonder why people aren't, like, so gung-ho to donate to him when you have this pissy attitude about something as simple as a video game. A video game, might I add, that you think people are here to see. They're here to see you have fun while playing it, and if they're here to see that, then Phil, my boy, you're not doing your job. Again, he, he's not timing that. He's just holding back and hoping for the best. He gets lucky. I do perfect reversal. No, I just happen to be in the right position the perfect reversal will win. He didn't time it. It's just fucking luck. He's doing scrub pattern bullshit. Here it is. Scrub. More scrub pattern. Oh, that's it. Stops my anti-air. He wins. That's a, He's going to win now. Who the fucking gives, it, gives him the move? Now, level two, it's safe. Dude, you've done literally nothing. You've literally done nothing to earn damage. In the entirety of the fucking round. You haven't done a single fucking move to earn damage. You suck. You fucking suck. You got lucky every fucking time I did an input. It was the perfectly timed reversal. The per you're, not, you're not doing it on reaction. You're just guessing and you're getting insanely lucky. And then you do the safe move, the safe move, the safe move. It's such nasty bullshit. <laughs> this fucking game sucks. It's really pissing me off at this point. It is. I can't win. Here, fuck this. I need a break because this thing's a piece of shit. And I'm going to punch the fuck out of my joystick. Because I'm so heated. Because the game sucks tonight. The game fucking sucks tonight. I have to work so fucking hard to do basic shit. And it pisses me off. It makes me angry. It does. So I need to cool down now because I'm really upset. Philip. 
you are a grown ass man playing a video game. I could understand this level of frustration if you maybe had a project do at work and you only had like an hour left to do it and you're you're scrounging to get it done and it's pissing you off but you know you got to do it for the betterment of your job but you sitting right here playing competitive street fighter matches on a Friday night it's, it's figure it out figure it the fuck out Phil what what is this? I've never seen someone get that. Like, like you can hear it in his soul. Like, it's pissing me off. It's, you know it was getting to him. And obviously, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say it's really, like, out of human nature to get mad at these things. I've gotten mad at a video game a few, few times in my day, but, like, I don't do it consistently on a nightly basis in front of hundreds of people and then wonder why those same people aren't willing to throw their hard-earned money at you. It's it's simple human, like, like you should be able to figure this out by now, Phil, but he doesn't. He's just going to sit here and cope and blame the trolls for the reason that people aren't really supporting the stream as much and talk about how people should be supporting the stream because he's trying to give fun and entertaining content. Guys, come on. Like, is this not, are you not entertained? I know I am. I know all the detractors are, but by Phil not entertaining the dents, it's, uh... It's a tough time. It's a tough time because while I think the mo the majority of people are entertained by clips we see in videos like this, it's not what Phil wants to put out there. The type of content Phil wants to put out there are those like Starfield streams that 200 people watch that have no real highlights in it and just Phil kind of laughing along with the gameplay because that's the real good shit right there. These trolls and all these people, they shouldn't care about these clips of Phil freaking out. Not when there's awesome videos like Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days playthrough part 16 available for you to watch on demand at Dark Side Phil's channel right now. I still can't believe he refers to his video catalog as on demand videos, but again, that's a video for another day. Let's keep listening to Phil talking about his money issues. My goal is to make every stream entertaining enough for you that you enjoy it and that people will reciprocate with support. Do you understand? That's the point. If I have a stream, where basically it's very slow, it makes me feel like I failed. It makes me feel like I've done a bad job. I'm supposed to be giving you content you like and you want to continue. So why on earth would I be happy with a slow stream? I shouldn't be. I should be upset that I failed somehow and I want your feedback on how to improve that stream. No, you don't. Some of the most upvoted responses on Phil's comments are deleted because, well, they're giving him ways that he can fix his stream, but it's not in the ways that Phil wants to do it, you know? Not all criticism is wanted by Darkside Phil. As a matter of fact, a very small amount of it is. But Phil talks about how sometimes, you know, he feels like he's failing with his streams not doing good support-wise, because that shows him that he's not doing a good job. If people aren't supporting him, well then he must not be doing a good stream. And that's just such a... That's such a cheap way to try to make people go, you know, if you really like what I'm doing here, you gotta support it. No. No, I'm someone who streams as well, and sometimes you have a stream and people are donating a lot, sometimes you don't. And the fact of the matter is, Phil, it's all depending on how people just feel that day. You're never owed a damn thing by anyone who watches your streams because you should be making them to just put a smile on people's faces. If you're making this content just in hopes to get people's money in your pocket, well, you're not doing it the right way. And I already can see people typing in the comments, well, don't you stream? Don't you get donations? And yes, I do. But guess what? You can go back through my whole catalog of videos and you'll never once find me saying the stuff Phil does with, ah, oh, man, guys, if we could get some more support today, you know, we gotta pay some bills and stuff like this. No, and I'll never tell that to people because it's up to anybody if they want to give anything. And you shouldn't even try to put that idea in their minds because the only thing you should be focused on doing is putting on a good show to actually entertain people. And Phil, despite saying that he does that, never does that. Because unless Phil's freaking out, his streams are one of the most boring things on the face of the internet. It, it, it's a moot point that over the course of the day, it was a good day. Did I say last night, oh my god, I had a slow Street Fighter stream going out of business that's it world is ending sky is falling everything no one said that you want to know who said that my fucking detractors so stop listening to them no one said that there's a difference between being very 
business-minded, matter-of-fact, want to support, or excuse me, want to create entertaining content you want to support versus, oh my God, this is awful. Now he's going to be e-begging all day. No one's e-begging. No one. It's not about how much I made. How about this? How about this? Everyone stop fucking counting dollars. All right? Stop. You want to know who does that? A fucking nosy, intrusive scumbag who wants to say, look at every dollar someone made on a stream. Where did it go? What did it do? Stop with that fucking toxic ass mentality. Stop it. It's not helping anything. It's actually making things worse. Because when you have that mentality, all you care about is what this says down here rather than what's the fucking 99% of the stream up here. Right? Who cares about this fucking bar down there? You should care about what's up here. Right? I mean, it, it should be, Phil. It really should be the focus. But when you're somebody who has a leaderboard of people who have donated the most, yeah, that's going to make people put their attention to it. You're somebody who complains about money all the time and then claims that nobody's e-begging and gets mad at people for even counting dollars. You're the one counting the dollars. Yes, it's your money, but when you're flashing it on screen like that, people are obviously going to have an opinion about it. I don't know how, how you can sit there and act like people are crazy for pointing that out when you're the one who actively updates that as people donate to you. You're somebody who encourages people to give you tips rather than super chats because you get tips right now. You want your hands on that money right this second because like you brought up, it's a business to you. And when you look at doing stuff like this on YouTube as a business, in my opinion, you've already fucked up. Because if you're someone like a, like a PewDiePie who has millions of subscribers, at that point, it's like, yeah, 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 you might want to start looking at things like a business if you're at like a hundred million subscribers, you know, like a Mr. Beast or something. But you are Dark Side Phil, a man who sits here and plays video games and by your own admission for people's entertainment. So fucking act like it. Be an entertainer. Don't sit here and try to give your business model plans to people and then tell them not to pocket watch you when you put your pocket and how much is in it right there on screen for people to see. It's just, this is some really backwards logic here. Because you're the one who promotes this stuff. You're the one who makes it a game for people. How much can they donate? And then you want people to stop paying attention to it? You can't have it both ways, Phil. And it's also rich for Phil to say to pay attention to what happens on screen and not how much money he makes when this is the type of stuff he says on screen. How did I make 10 bucks all night? And this has happened twice this week. You are the one publicizing how much you make per day, so stop getting mad at trolls and detractors for simply pointing that out. There you go, and uh, I hope that you understand where I'm coming from, and again, I don't think offense to what you're saying, I do feel like you are personally taking it from the wrong toxic perspective, probably because of outside influences, and that's not a good way to go through it, it's just not. You'll always see it through their very messed up, skewed perspective, and you'll never actually understand what I'm trying to sit, what I'm trying to do here and make content good for everyone. You'll never believe that. You'll just think, oh, where's the dollar signs, right? You're out of your mind. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy talk. If anything, I've, again, in the last year, have I not shown you all that that's not what I'm all about? How many opportunities have presented themselves to do toxic content for money and I've refused them? I don't want that. So why would you then believe that I'm upset about a stream where I made $10 when I could have made 50000 and I turned it down? It is nonsensical. You'd have to be a moron to think that, but again, they're morons. That's why they say that shit. <laughs> well, firstly, let's touch on the $50,000 thing, because that's in reference to the $50,000 that Keemstar was willing to pay Phil for doing the LolCow podcast with Wings and Boogie. Well, Phil, that's just because you're lazy and you have too much ego. You're too lazy because you weren't willing to actually step outside of your comfort zone and do something more than you've been doing for the past 15 years. You could have had the easiest, the easiest way to make money possible, but you just want to rely on the same people who've been paying you for the past, I don't know how many years, and you just want to bleed their incomes dry. I mean, dude, if I was given the, if I was given the chance to take some of Keemstar's money away, I would do it in a heartbeat, you know, and, but that's where his ego comes in. He's not thinking of it from that angle. He's only thinking of it as, oh, this is the lolcow podcast well i'm not a lolcow i'm not going to demean myself like that 
Phil, in your core, you are one of the OG lol cows. And no matter what you say and what you do online to try to change that perspective or to try to get people just to stop talking about it, because that's the way someone like Darkside Phil goes about things, it's never going to happen, buddy. It's never once going to happen for you. But we'll all be here watching as you try for the next god knows how many years to provide fun and positive content to an audience who is ever so slowly turning into a more and more detractor based community it already is but they're just growing by the day phil and little clips like i've showed in this video here and the thousands and thousands of other videos out there of you freaking out at games and treating people in your chat like pieces of shit it all blends together and while you sit there and see it as a fun entertainment thing and an easy way to get money in your pocket well other people just see it as a guy sitting on the internet wasting his life away all in the hopes to simply be able to pay his bills this month and that's really all i gotta say about phil i don't know why but i have a sneaking suspicion that this video is going to be copyright claimed by phil but we'll see what happens there but nonetheless i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i thank you all for just sticking around and enjoying the positive and fun content that we got here on this channel uh, again, I want to say shout out to Snort Hogan for making videos like this possible, for making DSP's content much more digestible to watch. So his link will be down there. Go show the homie some love. And one other shout out I wanted to give is the, the homie X Mortis. Because if you're someone who wants to learn more about Dark Side Phil and you want like a, a Chris Chan comprehensive history style documentary on Phil, X Mortis has you covered. This dude has produced one of the best pieces of DSP related content online, and I think you guys will really go love it if you check it out so yeah go check out him go check out snort and with all that being said y'all i'm gonna head out of here you guys have a great rest of your day and yeah until the next one stay safe i'll see y'all then